An older girl is taunting a young girl by swinging a plastic bag around. The young girl desperately tries to get the plastic bag, as it has her shoes inside. On the road, there's a small bonfire. The older girl then threw the girl's shoe on the fire. The girl breaks down, crying over her burnt shoes. The older girl says that is what she deserves for being so poor. The child cries about losing her shoes. Suddenly, a woman approaches the girl. The girl calls her mother and says that an old girl burnt her shoes. The mother asks the mean girl why she burnt her daughter's shoes. The mean girl says that she can't tolerate that a poor girl like that studies in the same place as her. The girl's mother comforts her daughter and tells the mean girl that she can't treat people like that. She says that her father is certainly going to know about what she did. The mean girl says that she's not scared and that her father wouldn't punish her because she's his favorite. The poor girl's mother says that in that case, she's the one who's going to teach her how to respect people. She tells the mean girl to apologize to her daughter. The mean girl says that she's not going to do it. The woman then approaches her and tries to force her to apologize. The girl starts to scream and calls her father. The father approaches and asks what's going on. The poor girl's mother says that she was only trying to teach her daughter to be a good person. The father asks what she's on about. The mother says that his daughter burnt her daughter's shoes. The father says that his daughter must have had a good reason to do it. He tells her to mind her daughter's education because he can handle his own daughters. He tells her to get on her bike. The woman tries to explain, but he rudely tells her to go on her way. The poor woman leaves with her daughter. The wealthy father asks his daughter if she's okay. The girl confirms. He hugs her. Later, the child is still crying to her mother about her shoes. Her mother tries to make her feel better, saying that she's certainly going to buy her brand new shoes as soon as possible. The mean girl then approaches the girl and hands her her own old pair of shoes. She says that she's donating them because they might fit her old and ugly clothes. Her father observes it from a certain distance. The poor girl asks if she's serious. The mean girl says that she doesn't like them anymore because they're very worn out. She says that she's going to the shopping center to buy new ones with her dad. The poor girl's mother tells the mean girl, Valeria, that she doesn't understand why she likes to boast about being wealthy like that. Valeria's father approaches and asks why she was saying those things to his daughter. He says that his daughter can say whatever she wants because they are indeed very wealthy. He hugs her. Valeria says that her father is right and that he's the best father in the whole world. The father says that it's about time they go to the shopping center so he can buy her some really good stuff, anything she wants. He says that he needs to give his little princess the best things in the world. He asks his daughter to follow him. Before leaving, he tells the poor woman to mind her own business and go back to work. Before leaving, the girl taunts them by showing her tongue. Now alone with her daughter, the mother asks if she likes the shoes. The girl confirms. The mother kisses her daughter's head and says that she's glad to hear it. Later, the poor girl is really excited to try the shoes she's got. She shows her mother that they're a bit big for her, but she's happy enough with them. Heartbroken, her mother remains silent for a bit and then approaches her. The poor mother says that she knows a trick. She sits next to her and takes the girl's shoes out of her feet. She then cuts the shoes with a kitchen knife. After a bit of struggle to cut the shoes, she hands them to the girl and asks if she likes them. The girl says that they look good enough for her. She thanks her mother for being so caring about her and doing everything to make her feel good. She hugs her mother and says that she loves her. Her mother says that she also loves her. Minutes later, the wealthy family returns home carrying loads of goodie bags. They see the girl hugging her mother. The wealthy father greets them. They stand up and greet him. Valeria thanks her dad for buying her loads of expensive stuff. Her father asks if she really liked it. She nods. The father then asks her to hand the goodie bags to him. He picks them up and says that he's glad she liked them because those are for Maggie. His mean daughter gets really surprised and asks what he's talking about. He says that it's exactly what she heard. The girl gets really angry and asks why he's handing her stuff to a scruffy little girl. Her father asks why she's so mean. He says that he never taught her to behave like that. He says that she needs to mind her language. The girl says that her mother always said that she shouldn't be involved with poor people. Her father asks if she knows about his background. He says that he used to live in the gutter, washing cars for people. 
he says that he and her mother never taught her to behave like that. Valeria says that it doesn't matter anymore because they're wealthy. Her father says that they didn't choose to be like that. He says that he wants her to learn how to share and respect people. He says that he brought the girl so she could share her blessing with her. He says that he wanted the little girl to be like her sister. He reminds her that they used to study, play, and do everything together. Her father asks if she would treat him like that if he were poor. Valeria says she wouldn't. The girl says that she's sorry about her spoiled behavior. She apologizes to Maggie and asks if she can teach her how to be kind and humble. Maggie says that, of course, she can. The father says that it's what he wanted to hear from her. He hands her the goodie bags and tells her to hand the gifts to Maggie. They hand the goodie bags to the girl. The girl unwraps the multiple gifts. School supplies, shoes, and a brand new mobile phone. Seeing the gifts, the girl celebrates. The father says that the phone is for her mother because she's getting one when she's older. The mother thanks him for his kindness. They continue to unwrap the presents and share kindness together.